Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and today I have this 1998 Coachman Catalina Model 322 QB XL. Um, it's a great little coach, it's been really well maintained and it has a lot of nice features, especially for a coach in this price range. So let's get started on the interior, exterior, and then uh, I think I'm going to take it out on a test drive later as well. It has a Ford 460 V8 motor, it's a big block. Makes plenty of power, and the previous owner just replaced the exhaust manifold, which can be a problem if you don't replace them after a long time. Um, so that's already been taken care of. It's got a two-piece windshield. Looks good. There are no cracks in it, no chips. They're in pretty good shape. They kind of go around too, which is nice. It gives you a slight panoramic view. There's some clear coat coming off on the bumper here. Um, this is a 1998 coach, so I'm going to try to show all the flaws that I can see, but you know, it's not going to be perfect. Now it's got a, a front entry for the driver here, so you can quickly jump out and fuel up if you want. Now it's got a hydraulic HWH leveling system, and the controls are right here. I've got a few of the jacks down right now, they work great. Now, this is a 50 amp coach. That's right, and it has an Onan 7,000 watt generator, which is pretty great. Um, and that is a gas generator as well, not a propane generator. So it runs a little quiet, makes plenty of power. It's got two roof air conditioners with our both, they're both on right now. It's about 95 degrees out here right now, and um, they work pretty great. You got some storage here. And I like the lining on these storage compartments because you can pressure wash them out or take a hose to them if you want. It's not a felt type. Yep. And right here, it's got a pass-through storage compartment. You really, really do not see that often on a coach this age. Um, because before the raised rail chassis designs, you really didn't get um, pass-through storage. But this one actually has a pretty good pass-through storage compartment right there. Now here is your driver dually. Right here is where your 50 amp power cord is. It's a little storage compartment for it. It has a little thing that opens up so you can close this compartment and just have the cord running out once you plug in. Right here is your fuel fill up. You have another storage compartment right here. Now this is where your wet bay is, um, and I believe this must be for when you winterize the coach, a little contraption the previous owner must have had. Um, the valves are pretty easy to use, they're all labeled, which is pretty nice. It shows you what uh, the schematic of which valve goes where if you want to winterize it or drain it or fill or put it in regular use mode with your water pump. It's nice to have that um, because the valves can be confusing. There's a lot of them. Oh, just need to turn that the right way. There it is. Now there's a little bit of damage scratches here, um, but the decals are actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, no significant damage up on top. A lot of times you'll see D limb on that top seal there, and this one, this coach is showing none of that. Exterior is in pretty good shape as far as sun fading goes, because a lot of times you'll see coaches that have a lot of sun fading. Um, and this one shows pretty minimal signs of sun fading. Um, although, I mean, it has flaws here and there, little scuffs, and uh, just some little chips here and there on the bumpers especially. But, you know, that's what's gonna happen to bumpers, especially a coach at this age. You got your towing hitch down there. Leave. See, this may be your spare tire here. No, it's just a storage compartment. Yeah, it's a little storage compartment here. That's pretty nice. They really tried to put as much storage capacity in this coach as they could. That locks into place, so it's not gonna slide out on you, but that would be closed anyways. Come around the side. It's got a big awning here. 
Um, we're going to talk more about that a little later. I'm going to point out this little scuff. You can probably see it. A little, sc well, little scuff there. Again, the bumpers, you know, they show a little bit of wear, but for the most part, the exterior is in good shape. Let's get up on the roof. All right, we're up on the roof now. Now, it's got a little vent fan cover, which is nice. That means you can have your vent fan and your kitchen open when it's raining. This looks like a Dometic low profile. So that is definitely an updated, upgraded air conditioner right here. Um, this is not the original air conditioner that came with the coach. That is a newer one, a much newer one. You also have an updated uh, antenna. This is what you'd see on like a 2013 model. Wow. You got a satellite dish here. There's a little dent in it. But roof looks pretty good. The seals are in good shape. That's the top of your awning there. Okay, so that is really nice. Again, the gentleman who owned this spent a lot of money. Really, he probably spent around what we're gonna ask for this coach on, maintain on maintenance and updates. I mean, these are two Dometic low-profile air conditioners he's got up here. Not original. These are updated, much newer. That updated antenna is nice, too. So those are very nice updates. Air conditioning is key, especially in these summer times. It was really hot outside. And I can tell you right now, the interior is actually pretty cool. And it's only been running for about 30 minutes. So let's get back down on the bottom. All right, now we're back on the ground. We're on the passenger side of this coach. Um, so this side, the decals show a little more sun damage. Um, but again, it could be a lot worse. Now we've got some damage here on this compartment door. A little scrape. Let's open this compartment up. way is open here. There we go. This is your propane tank. Looks like it's been painted, um, which is nice. Hopefully it's like an anti-rust. Doesn't allow rust to occur. Seems to be three-fourths full as well. Here we have a pretty large storage compartment. Again, there's a little, just a little damage, just little specks and chips here and there on the lower compartments. Looks like the clear coat's coming off there. Um, but again, 98, this is normal stuff you're gonna see. Now we have a huge patio awning here. The spring is in excellent condition, rolls right back up with ease. That is a common issue on an older awning. Um, and this one's probably been replaced because for considering its age. Now this is the other side of that pass-through storage compartment we were talking about. Um, again, this is a pretty significant compartment considering its age. You really don't see pass-through storage um, on a coach like this unless you start getting up newer to like 05, 06. Right here. You've got a spare tire here along with some storage compartments around it. So the passenger side, pretty straight walls. Again, same thing, no delamination up near that main seal up top. Um, and it's actually in pretty good shape. You know, there's nothing really bad going on. The exterior has some cosmetic things like clear coat um, and things like that. But beyond that, the coach has really been maintained well. As we saw those two new air conditioners on top, the new antenna, the new tires. Um, and the gentleman also replaced all of the brakes. So the brakes are all new all the way around. Let's take a step inside. It's got a double step that's automatic. The coach is running, so that's why it stays in. And that's right, the coach has been sitting here idling for about an hour in 95 degree weather. Um, and it is just okay with it. It is just fine. It's sitting there at normal temperature and dead center. All right, we're on the interior now. And the first thing you will notice is that we have taken out the carpet in most of the coach from the beginning, right here where the couches are, all the way into the bedroom and in the bathroom, we've taken the carpet out and replaced it with an engineered hardwood flooring. Um, and it makes it look a lot better, it's way easier to clean, and it's just better all around. Now, we've got a long couch here that is a jackknife. And then over here we have another couch that's just a little shorter that is also a jackknife couch. Um, so you can sleep people two people here, one people, person very comfortably, um, and another person here, um, which is pretty nice. Now you have your co-pilot 
Your pilot and co-pilot chair up here, they both swivel and turn around so you can seat more people. This coach has an upgraded Vizio flat screen TV and it looks like it's got a surround sound system as well. You got your backup camera here. Um, the coach shows about 57,000 miles. We'll talk more about that later. The upholstery is in excellent condition. Um, there's only a few places where it shows a little wear here. It's just kind of separating a little bit there and starting to separate here too. Um, of course, you know, I am nitpicking this coach like it isn't a 1998 and that's fine. That's what we do. We're very honest about what we show and what we have. Now over here in your kitchen area, you've got a three burner gas stove. You've got a dual stainless sink. There's a fan here. Microwave up above and an oven down here. Now right behind you, to your right, there's a dinette. Now this dinette turns into a bed as well. So you could comfortably sleep three more people, not including the bedroom uh, mattress in the back. Um, so you can probably sleep five people pretty comfortably in this coach, um, if not more if you want to squeeze them in, or especially if there are children who are going to be bringing along with you. Now right here is your Dometic controller. Now we had a 2013 Vista we just sold. Um, had the same exact controller, so it's really nice to have those updated uh, air conditioners on top. I'm cool in here. It's starting to really cool off in this coach. It's nice to have that extra um, oomph when it comes to air conditioning. Now in here you've got a little pantry that's adjustable. All these shelves are adjustable. Very easily adjustable. You can slide them up just by clicking it like that, and then you click them down to take it out. So that's pretty nice. All right, right here we have a little pantry area with adjustable shelves so you can just quickly, the way these work, you just quickly move it up if you want to go up and you push them in from underneath if you want to uh, push them down. So really nice to have that, actually a decent amount of pantry space there. You got your refrigerator here and your freezer on top. Now again, when we sell you this coach, we'll guarantee things like the air conditioner, which is awesomely working right now, uh, the refrigerator, you know, propane system, furnace, things like that. Um, the coach is going to be turnkey. And right now, the purpose of this video is to show you um, essentially what's wrong with it. And most of our coaches, it'll just be cosmetic things. Um, but this is not a brand new coach. It's a 98. Before a 98, it's been really maintained well with the brand new brakes, new tires. Um, the transmission has been rebuilt. Uh, the new exhaust manifold, it's really been taken care of. The upgraded air conditioner is really nice. Now right here we have a little wardrobe space. Got a lot of drawers there down the bottom. Now on the right in this hallway we have our bathroom. Now it's nice the bathroom is over here because you can get to your bedroom and people can be showering and using the toilet without affecting anyone else in the coach. It's completely isolated. You've got your shower there on the right. It's a pretty good sized shower. We got a nice amount of countertop space back here. A free roll of toilet paper goes with the coach. We got some storage up there to the left. You can check your tanks and turn your water pump and water heater on there from the, right there. You got your toilet on the bottom. And again, it's really nice to have this engineered hardwood flooring in here because a lot of these older coaches had carpet in the bathroom, which is a terrible idea. Um, so it's really nice to have the floors that we put in this coach. Now back in the bedroom area, there's a good bit of space here, a lot of space to walk around there. Now here you kind of have to walk sideways and get around, but it's not too bad. Um, there's still space to put your feet and get around. You've got a separation door here. You've got storage. There's like a rack for hanging things. It's like a little miniature wardrobe space, a lot of storage up above. And right there you have a very tall, um, if you take that shelf out, you could walk into it, little wardrobe area. Which is really nice. Get these large windows back here with household blinds. It's nice to have household blinds. They, they're a lot more reliable um, and they look better, honestly. So all the blinds in this coach are in great condition. They look pretty new. The ones back here are definitely not original. And the ones in front, if they are original, it's extremely surprising. Now we've got an upgraded flat screen Dynex TV here. 
that is on a swivel. So you can swivel this thing around. It's tied up right now, but you undo that and you can swivel it out to here if you want. Um, you got a remote for it right here. Nice to have the upgraded TVs. So again, good bit of space in here, even with the slides closed. It's a wide body coach, um, but updated TVs. I, I'm not even gonna recap again. This coach has a lot of things that make it perfect to come here, jump in it, and go camping. Um, you've already got nice upgrades, new brakes, new, t uh, new TVs, uh, new tires. So coach is in excellent condition. So let's go get it on the road. I'm gonna give you my feedback on how it drives, and um, then we'll go from there. Thank you.